This is San Diego's News Channel, KUSI News. Thanksgiving is tomorrow, and so it means it's time to get the table set and ready. Joan Peters is here with three last-minute ideas to make your table pop. Good morning to you, Joan. And Hello. Happy nice early to see Thanksgiving. You. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving to you. This table looks beautiful. I mean, this looks like something you would see at like a high-end restaurant. Oh, thank you so much. You know, we're going to show you how with absolutely no cost, we can at the last minute, give you three ideas to impress your family and friends. Okay, so are these things we should do today to yes, prepare for tomorrow? Yes, you can do them all today, and they're practically, practically no cost. Okay, where do we start? Okay, first thing is natural elements. Okay. What we've done is we've gone to the grocery store, and we've bought bought gourds and pomegranates just for our table table piece. So instead of spending money on a Ex big expensive flower display? Exactly. Okay. These cost a couple dollars. Sure. I already had the glass vase, mm -hmm. uh, the glass bowl. And then we went to one of the health food stores and where they have things by bulk and we bought that kidney beans, yeah. split peas, and corn nuts. Wait, these are really corn nuts. Yeah, and they're, they're, very, they're very tasty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you just throw the bag in there and then you place the candle on top. Absolutely. And these could be different, different size vases. They don't have to be two matching sizes and we stuck a candle in. The best thing is you can go outside your backyard and have or have your kids collect a bunch of leaves. Yeah, send the kids outside. Instead <laughs> of purchasing a, a table runner, we use colored leaves to give it drama and to add the, the contrast and color. It really looks full and beautiful. Thank you. And then um, on the place, place cards, I we love just per this. we purchased a little pumpkin and we went outside, got these big leaves, went to the craft store, got metallic paint and what? glitter. So that's just a little bit of glitter glue. Right just there? a little bit of, of metallic paint and spray and then sprinkled glitter on. Mm -hmm. And this is just stationary. And we did the same thing to that, just to romance the whole family. And this is actually something you could have your kids help you with. Absolutely. And work. they would have a lot of fun also because they could do a lot of the decorating. Okay, and then um, avoid the, the family fighting by separating, separating Uncle Jim from Mom. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know where everyone should sit. Mm -hmm. Our number two uh, idea is layers. Layers of textures, layers of colors. Okay. And you know, you don't have to have expensive things. These are 10 years old. I happen to have autumn napkins, but these could be a solid color. But we use several layers. We This could be, this is a placemat, but it could sure. be a piece of burlap okay. that you purchased at the store and cut in squares. And then we used a charger and uh, everyday white plates. Actually, these are very inexpensive china, mm -hmm. but um, you can use your everyday white plates. And then the different layers and textures of candles, the different heights. We've got the pillars. Okay, We've I, got the I love Votus. this. I mean, oh, that is so you. beautiful. Where did you find these candles? You know, candles that supported? probably came from one of the discount department stores in I, town. I was going to say, especially if you go after the holiday, like maybe do it on Friday exactly. or, or Monday, you exactly. can pick these up for real cheap. And those are still out for Christmas. So, okay. you, so the candle holders are plentiful because you can overlap. Also, we used napkins that we use for Christmas. So we can use them for Thanksgiving also. Okay. That's the second thing, layers of textures and colors. The third thing is incorporate something from your past. Okay. So what I, we did is we were using an antique tablecloth. You can use a, a solid cream tablecloth. Mm -hmm. I use this so you could just use your re a regular cream tablecloth, but we also incorporated antique napkins from my grandmother. Aww. And then my childhood friends grandmother, this is her copper plate, mm -hmm. and we just added it in for sparkle. It attracts the light. Yeah, that's beautiful. And it's another meaningful thing from the past. So basically raid your linen closet your and linen. the craft area exactly. of your house. Exactly. I mean, and outdoors. And and I, I think the thing that's cool is it doesn't have to be so matchy matchy. I mean, you have the same exactly. color scheme, but a lot of different moving parts. Exactly. We've got copper, we've got gold, we've got silver. We just bundled it all together and it looks homey and it's beautiful fun to talk about and now all we need is the food did you bring a turkey for us no but i wish that we had one to eat <laughs> Wait, is, that, is the pie still here we get the no they oh, we probably darn. already ate too bad it. well joan thank you so much for stopping by thank this morning you, Alexis. and is this really what your home looks like around the holidays when i entertain yes yeah <laughs> okay then invite yes. us to your party okay. next time okay. i'll do that <laughs> thank you so much joan thank happy you alexis happy thanksgiving